Mark Reedy here. Just wanted to show you uh, a few things we're working on. This is uh, 4.6.23 and this is a beta version. It's not quite ready. We're still testing it. But I just wanted to show you a couple things that we're doing with this version. Um, you can see here in the loop service tab we're adding a filter here. We're also adding a filter to the needed mates and repairs and to the repairs completed. Now back over to the loop service um, it'll default to showing you the last two loop services and uh, so that'll when you first open the program and click on a piece of equipment and then go to the loop service tab it's going to show you the last two instead of showing you a big long list of all of them and that you have to scroll through so at this point you can just add another loop service down here and then continue to add more as needed um, you can also filter it by the la any in the last 30 days the last 180 days so if I were to just click on this, it automatically filters by any of those date ranges and it just changes the date range over here. Or I can choose a date, I can just enter a date range. So if I go back here, bring that back to say 2010, uh, it's going to show me the last two in that date range. If I uncheck this, now it's going to show me all of them in that date range. The other thing is I can just click on show all. That's going to just show every single loop service that's ever been done on that piece of equipment. And that's how it used to be as the default before we added any of these filters. You would have to scroll through and look at them and then go to the bottom to add a new one. All right. So hopefully that uh, is a time saver and helpful for you. Um, and then also we've added in these sorting buttons and the EO stands for entry order. So if you click on that, that'll just show you the entry or the order that it was entered. And then the loop service button will show you alphabetically your loop services. So it'll group them together if you have more than one type in there. And then uh, the date, obviously you can go uh, highest to lowest or lowest to highest like we, we used to have on the little drop down there. And uh, you can do the same thing with odometer or hours. So lowest to highest or highest to lowest or the accomplished by a person. You can sort by that field as well. So, and then we've added the, a similar one to the needed maintenance and repairs and repairs completed. The only difference is that we did not add the, like the last two you see here, like the last two or the last 10 loop services. This is just gonna give you a date range to um, choose for your needed maintenance and repairs. So you can choose 30 days, 180 or, or 365 or put in a date range here. And uh, you can also choose to display only the ones that are not completed or only the completed ones or all of them. Okay. And then that's that we had that before that was there before. And then on the repairs completed, same thing. You can just do a date range or if you just want to quickly look at the filter for the last 30, 180 or 365, uh, the repairs that were completed there, you can do that. All right, so that is what we're doing there. And then one other thing I wanted to show you is over on the, the 90 day inspections, we have gone to the, uh, if we go over here to file setup and change global inspection items list. Now we've added in the ability to, to issue a sort order number for these items. And then you can sort this by the sort order number here or by the default, the order that it was entered here. And then we can also mark these items for deletion rather than having to click that little button and it sometimes would just lock up waiting for it to finish or it would take an inordinate amount of time to finish deleting one of these items because it has to go in and delete it not only from here but anywhere it was used in the system like all the previous inspections that it might have been used on and so forth for every single piece of equipment it was used on. So, and then the other thing is we've added these up and down arrows. So if you just want to, instead of trying to uh, enter in a number to change uh, where it appears in the list, you can click this down arrow and you can see that move the windshield down one. So I can just follow it down until I get it to where I want it. And then, then uh, when we go to print out the list for somebody to do a manual inspection or a walk around, they can have it in the order that it appears on the equipment. If it's a, in a different order that we provide or that it's been done in the past, you can change that order. And now um, 
it will be in that order when you uh, go to print it out and it'll also be in that order if I close go back over here and close this close this and look at a inspection uh, you can see here we have the sort order and that's how it's going to default to using that sort order number that's the underlying number that's the sort order and also the way it was entered will show up here so the way it was entered will show up here so if I click on that that's the sort order and if I click on that that is the entry order okay so um, you can see how that slightly changes there and that's it so those are just a couple of the things we're working on for this release and uh, hopefully that makes things better for you thanks a lot take care